Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this May 12th, Tuesday. Let us begin with evening prayer. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to govern night and day. And a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The psalm for today is the 102nd Psalm. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to hear me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is stricken and withered like grass. I am too wasted to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like an owl of the wilderness, like a little owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I am like a lonely bird on the housetop. All day long my enemies taunt me. Those who deride me cause my, use my name for a curse. For I eat ashes like bread and mingle tears with my drink. Because for your indignation and anger, for you have lifted me up and thrown me aside. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Your name endures for all, to all generations. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion. For it is time to favor it. The appointed time has come, for your servants hold its stones dear, and have pity on its dust. The nations will fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, he will appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute, and will not despise their prayer. A reading from Proverbs, the third chapter. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your path. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. It will be a healing for your flesh, and a refreshment for your body. Honor the Lord with your substance, and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be, fill be filled with plenty. And your vats will be bursting with wine. My child, do not despise the Lord's discipline or be wary of his reproof. For the Lord reproves the one he loves, as the father, the son, in whom he delights. And a reading from Acts, the seventh chapter. Our ancestors had the tent of testimony in the wilderness. As God directed when he spoke to Moses, ordering him to take it according to the pattern he had seen. Our ancestors, in turn, brought it when in with Joshua, when they dispossessed the nations that God drove out before our ancestors. And it was there until the time of David, who found favor with God, and asked that he might find a dwelling place for the house of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built the house for him. Yet, the Most High does not dwell in houses made with human hands, as the prophet says. Heaven is my foot, my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me, says the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Did not my hand make all these things? You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears. You are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one. And now you have become his betrayers and murderers. 
You are the ones that received the law as ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. When they heard these things, they became enraged and grounded their teeth around Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of Jesus, of God and Jesus, standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. The word is the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I'm going to comment from this side of the table. That's okay. So um, a couple things here. This, this reading where we're reflecting on the, the tent in the Old Testament, the tabernacle. And I've, I find that several times in the past month, this has been a theme that's come up. Um, we think about uh, how the temple is where the people would come to worship. And, and maybe it's because we're separated from our temple. The, the building of St. Mark's, that we might be mindful of the, the place where God's people go to worship. But in this reading, we're reminded that in the olden days, before there was a temple, there was the tent, and the tent traveled wherever the people went. And, uh, and then that temple, uh, then they built the temple, and the temple was destroyed. The people were scattered, and the synagogues were established. But then they came back to, uh, back to the land of Israel. And they built the temple once again. And again, the focus, uh, the focus then became on the temple and the the, as the place to go to worship. But God never intended for, for God to be worshipped in one place, in one place only. But rather that God is with us everywhere we go. Reminding us of the, all those Old Testament stories where the temple of God was always with the people. And we can remember Paul's words that says, we are the temple of God. And that the Holy Spirit dwells within us. And right here at this, the end of this reading from Acts, right before Stephen is, is stoned to death and is, is martyred, he lifts up his eyes and he sees God the Father and God the Son. And we remember that God is with us wherever we go. That the reign of God is real, not in one place, not in one building, but everywhere in, everywhere in the universe. Wherever we are, God is there with us. And that's a, a helpful reminder for us. There are things that um, might make us feel that uh, we're apart from God right now. We miss things of the church. We, we miss communion. We miss the, the baptismal font. We, 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 we probably even miss sitting in those hard pews on Sunday morning while you're there in your slippers and pajamas. Uh, there are the, those pews that we would sit in and and, and gaze upon the cross or the candles, the, 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 the beautiful stained glass windows, all those things that remind us of God's presence. We might miss those, but these stories today remind us that God is here with us right where we are. However we're dressed and, and whatever might be around us in our apartment or in our home, God is here with us. And, uh, and even to the point of death, as Stephen was about to die, Wherever we are in life, whether we're young or old, whether we are well or ill, whether we have decades of life left or just moments, God is with us. And that's good news. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My, my soul, soul proclaims, proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Lord. My, my spirit, spirit rejoices, rejoices in God, God my Savior. Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have filled, hungry, you have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. 
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the house of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For, the pub for public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For our bishops and pastors, and for all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest. Rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To, to you, O Lord. Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. By paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown, give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. We wish you all a blessed night, and we look forward to seeing you in the morning for morning prayer.